Welcome to the fourth episode of our DIY truck camper build. Today we're going to be painting this thing and we're actually going to be using the Herculiner bed liner for truck beds. It's a urethane paint. Let's get started. Started out by sanding the camper and then two coats of primer with the sand in between before we got started on the Herculiner. And there it is. This is the Herculiner roll-on bed liner for truck beds, and we're using it for the shell of the camper. It is a urethane, and we're going to use three coats, and uh, it'll give us a nice texture feel as well as protect the camper from the elements. And we actually need about a gallon and a half for this project, so we had to get two gallons. Let's do the, do these panels up here. This is your first coat. You say do a light first coat and then come back and do a second coat. Now, if you're using this product, I would recommend to make sure that you get this texture. <laughs> Kind of blended a little bit better than what I did in this first coat here. I was just getting familiar with using this product. So you can kind of see that texture is not quite blended like it should be. Just kind of drag your roller across that and spread out that texture a little bit better. You're going to thank yourself later.
finally got the paint about all done here on the camper. So what I did was three coats of Herky liner, bed liner. Uh, it kind of has like a, almost puts you in mind of like a sand and it's not sand, it's more like, um, I think rubber pieces. It's still a little bit wet, so I don't want to touch it. Um, but uh, man, this stuff is uh, super durable. Um, man, do not get it on yourself. Like the instructions say, uh, use gloves, use rubber gloves. I did not <laughs> initially. And uh, man, I, I tried diesel fuel to get it off and it worked a little bit. Um, WD-40, if you get it on your hands, WD-40 actually kind of works if you scrub it while it's wet. WD-40 will take it off your hands. Um, but uh, just kind of show you around here a little bit. So this is the roof right here, it's upside down. And uh, there will be some metal pieces going on here. We've got the white rubber roof, but that's gonna cover the whole edge. The metal pieces are gonna cover the whole edge. Um, this is the back door here and the front panel and the back panel on the pop-ups. The sides are, are folded down in here. Uh, there's going to be some weather stripping going along the edges here so that when you stand the sides up, uh, the weather stripping will, will seal it so water won't get in. Um, so there's the, the sides. I think it turned out pretty good. The um, I'm really liking it. The first coat and the second coat, I was really kind of questioning if I liked it or not. But when I got the third coat on there, I actually used a regular um, roller head, a regular paint roller. Uh, that's it right there. So the first one, first two coats, what I did was I used the roller that comes with it. And that actually kind of puts you in mind of like a pool floaty. This is here, this is the second kit. I had to get two kits. Um, but it's kind of like a pool floaty. And it's got little indentations there, and that's what gives you the texture. And uh, so you end up with this textured surface. Uh, so I did two, two coats with that roller that they provided. And then the third coat I used the regular paint roller on. Uh, just to kind of make it a little bit flatter here on this final coat and I kind of I like how it turned out um, the third coat is really what um, what really made it look nice I think made it all come together and blend pretty nice now back in here in this corner I'm gonna get some uh, maybe some black roof caulking and just caulk that corner right there um, so that that can flex but yeah, the paint is on there. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a couple touch-ups around edges here yet, but for the most part, paint is good to go and we can start assembling everything once the paint is dry. Get the windows back in there as well. Put the roof back on.